Luck and Coffee thought they could take down the coffee giant, Starbucks. But did their ambition lead to a crash and burn that even a double-shot espresso couldn't fix? To many investors, Luckin's growth numbers were simply way too good to be true. An anonymous fund manager had been monitoring Luck and Coffee for a while and had already uncovered massive disparities. The fund manager had hired a 1,000 investigators to monitor the foot traffic at Luckin locations across China. These investigators also collected 25,000 receipts from customers to estimate the average cost of each order. Using this data, the fund was able to estimate the quarterly sales of Luckin throughout the third and fourth quarters of 2019, with sales estimated at 69% in the third quarter and 88% in the fourth quarter. It was pretty clear that Luckin was faking sales, but the fund manager didn't want to release evidence himself as he feared the backlash he would receive from investors. So he asked Carson to release a report and Carson would follow through. As soon as the report debuted in February 2020, Luckin Coffee plunged.